An international award-winning photographer has a new book and a new gallery open at Ridgedale Center. The new book is called Heart of America. It features stunning pictures by 32-year-old John Knopf. And John joins us with his book, Heart of America, right here on Mid Morning. Thanks for coming in, John. Thank you guys so much for having me. So you grew up in Central California, recently moved here, right? Uh, not officially moved here, but yeah, pretty much living here to get the gallery open, so yeah. You got the gallery yes. open. You well, picked up the camera originally as a four-year-old, is that right? Yeah, you know, my mom gave me a camera at four and it kind of just developed. I started in a dark room when I was about 11 years old and it just kind of uh, gradually progressed to here. So why the landscapes that you've chosen? What drew you to them? Uh, you know, mainly it's just kind of stuff that's speaks to me. I like to, you know, with art, you want to really, you know, kind of uh, convey an emotion. So I pick the landscapes that are kind of based on the state or based on the country and kind of convey that emotion. And we have some of the pictures uh, from the book. This is just stunning. Yeah. Color really uh, jumps out in these photos. Is that is that the way you, I guess, is that done in the camera? Yeah, so, you know, that's all kind of natural, done in the camera. Everything's done. What you see is kind of, you know, through We're what, such an Instagram-filtered yeah. society Right, now. exactly. Sometimes you have to ask, you're like, is this really what it looked like? No, no, what you actually see is what you're seeing through the lens. Wow. It's incredible. And so when you go out to take these pictures, I assume you'd want kind of a brighter light day. Is that something that yeah. you look for? Yeah, yeah. You know, so you're seeing the vibrancy and you're seeing kind of how they pop and everything. That just yeah. takes the time and patience. And, you know, I, I wait years for different shots or different lighting, go yeah. back for different seasons. And that's kind of what gets you that perfect shot. That's the difference, I think, right between a true artist, a true professional versus like a hack like like me and most of us who are taking pictures that can be nice. I've right? seen your Instagram, actually. You do some pretty good work, <laughs> all right? OK, but it's, <laughs> but it's different when you see a scene and you're like, this is I want this, but I need the light to be perfect. I need the clouds to be this way. And that's what's great about photography is it does teach you that patience that you can't just release something that's based on, all right, I like this. You've got to love it. Yeah. So when you, we were looking at your Twitter feed and we saw that you're into kayaking. I love kayaking. I bought a kayak as soon as I got here. So <laughs> part of the draw, like what, what brought you to Minnesota? Uh, you know, what brought me to Minnesota is honestly, there's not a whole lot like it out here with the gallery. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed that this is becoming like a central hub for, you know, amazing art, amazing people. I yeah. thought, let's let's do something local and kind of bring a vibe here. And you moved here in October. Uh, did did anyone tell you that was maybe not the best idea? So that, that moving in the summer <laughs> is a little bit better? Yeah, I kind of regret that whole lot. But you know what? Now it kind of shows you that this I get why people actually live here now you get your weather is better it's a great place after that you had kind of a wimpy winter though your first oh, I'm just saying. 40 below is a wimpy. if that's a wimpy I mean, all right well then you know what I'm not coming back for the next one not a lot of snow it gets worse or better depending on your perspective the ice was enough for me let's, let's talk about your interest in giving back I know uh, I was at the make-a-wish wish ball oh were you uh, in one of your photos I think went for ten thousand dollars that's correct yep uh, that's part of, uh, that's got to be one of the great things about being a creator and being an artist that you're able to do good. Yeah, that's artists. honestly the best part. Like, you know, everything is, you know, really great up until the point I love giving back and being able to do that, giving back to the kids, being able to teach. Uh, I just got back from Wisconsin up at a camp up there. Shout out to North Star Camp. Um, <laughs> I got to uh, teach up there, show the kids about yeah. photography. and. It's just mind-blowing how interested they were. Is a lot of your work right now from Minnesota, or is it kind of all around the country and all around? It's the all around the country and all around the world. Um, you know, this book is actually mainly on America. It's taken me about ten years to put together, yeah. but uh, my, my photography is really everywhere. Yeah, but so book, we want to see more of Minnesota. And as soon as I'm here for longer, it takes kind of a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. I will get a lot of stuff out of here because you guys actually have a lot more beautiful stuff than I would have ever expected. The mm -hmm. book is called Heart of America. The gallery is at Ridgedale. Thank you so much, John. We Thank have you guys. At Thank you so much for having me. You Congratulations. Thank right, you. What kind of weather are you going to give John for today's photos? Oh, there's a lot of sunshine out there. <laughs>